How are you guys? Everybody good? Everybody stacking their sats? Everyone going into Bitcoin only? Remember we talked about how Dominance was telling you to either long Bitcoin or sit in cash, but regardless, not touch alts and to not short Bitcoin. Like these were the two, the two big musts. So hopefully that was something you took advantage of because here we are. Been pretty wild. And in liquid JPEGs, exactly. Exactly. Um, by the way, if somebody wants to turn this into an NFT, there you go, that little snapshot, probably make a lot of money. Jack and his wine bottle. Go. What up, man? Hey, bud. How you doing? Welcome. Good, good. All right. So let's do this. Uh, so rainbowtrends.com is your website. Okay, so I at this here at the beginning, I kind of wanted you to introduce yourself. Kind of tell us a little bit about like what got you into this. Um, you know, what what got you interested, why, you know, all the all the background, everything. Um, and then as you kind of get into your uh, your indicator itself, then I'll pivot the screen over to you. You can kind of like take the helm and, and show us through it. That's what I was thinking though. But is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So how I got into this, um, Jack got me into this. Um, 2017, we started trading crypto and doing really, really well. And then the whales beat us up pretty bad in 2018. Um, I've got a background in mechanical engineering. Um, and frankly, I don't have the eyes that Jack does. He can see Wyckoff stuff that I can't. So um as people joke about how 2018 was so bad people started learning ta i started learning how to code uh bots and making my own custom indicators and that's where we kind of stumbled across um the rainbow theory jack kept picking up stuff on wyckoff that i flat out couldn't see but eventually the computers were able to start seeing it and we were pretty much aligned mostly like 80 90 percent of the time so we started seeing the confirmation bias that it was it was working we were able to spot bottoms um and our first real big entry was the uh the 2018 capitulation wake that went down to like 3300 i think we went full in on the rainbow below 4400 so it's evolved since then um i've also worked with stacked invest i've got a um, two bots on there that are available one's one's coming soon but the other one is released um if you want to see the captain quint bots but been doing that for a while um and just been working with jack hand in hand with this chatting every day chasing whales essentially and that's what this has kind of come down to is there's a lot of ta and a lot of indicators but like the wyckoff stuff you're chasing the market makers in the process of about three years uh, it took me i was able to discover rainbow theory and figure out how to make computers see whales per se and we can walk through this and it'll i guess it'll make more sense but sure. um I don't know what else you want to go from there no that's good um let me add a little flavor to to what you've already said so um let me flip over to my chart to make a point really quick. Back in this drop of 2018, you know, at the end of the tail end of 2018 into 2019, you know, that obviously that was that was so much pain. Um, that was kind of where uh, our, Mr. R Runner and I cut our teeth on like making an entry and having um, what's the word? I, like not having weak hands you know like like diamond hand entry long term this is what we do and then also it was a good test of seeing the blow off top in here and kind of sitting out so i i have known our runner for a long time and we've talked about market theory that's the only thing i'm trying to get across is that i've known him for a long time we've talked about market theory constantly um he's been one of my only friends like irl that Ha was interested in crypto and then hung with it through the bear market, which is like a big deal. A lot of people, conviction, exactly, Fletch, thank you. Um, so he he has a diamond hand conviction and then, you know, uh, but it, it is tailored to when the charts say you should, right? And so I came, I, I still come at things and, and I continue to come at things with Wyckoff in mind, that like um, trade range activity, market structure and Wyckoff, like these are really big elements to me. Uh, but not so much for our runner. So uh, oftentimes what he sees and what I see will align. But what is so, so interesting is that, and uh, you know, this is, I guess one of my public shames is that when the market dropped in late 
or like kind of mid of uh, this year, like May, June, July. Um, I did not see this through the lens that I view the market. This was not enough for an entire reversal. Okay, so I was not convinced that this was a bottom. And this was, I was very loud about this, very public, right? And so here we are again, right? Tickling the undercarriage of the all time high. And so I wish I had played that very differently, right? If we, I could go back in time, I'd be very different. I'm, I'm very open and honest with you guys um, all along the way. With that in mind, we're, I'm gonna switch this over to our runner. And I, I think this is a good time for him to display how his perspective, how his lens, how his bots viewed that part of the market. And so if you don't mind, I, I think that's kind of where you should start. So like, and like I said, this, this is not smoke and mirrors. This is something we've been working on since 2018. And um, I mean, frankly, when he was talking about the 4,400, the 3000 dip that we hit, um, that was the biggest he says cut our teeth that was the biggest leap of faith i've ever had to do um with and trading the wives into it and everything like no no this is a good idea don't worry give me your life savings yeah, yeah it's totally cool <laughs> um let me knock out the triangles but like we were doing great right here and then we lost so much money coming back down and we started looking about like the wyckoff theory of the market makers and then it started coming down to chasing whales and it's like how do i chase whales and how do i know what their games are and essentially what the whole point of rainbow theory is, is most people look at markets in red and green. And this paints a very, very dangerous picture to people that they think it's simple. And a lot of the whales can get away with a lot of stuff here. Jack can pick this stuff up now, but a lot of people without like proper eyes and training can't see what's really going on. And as much wealth as this has made, if it'll show it, a lot of people have lost the, everything on this trend. Um, and it's just the reality of it. And the Wyckoff and the Rainbow Theory, which kind of came out of it is there are, let me do what dailies, whales that are controlling the market, but at the same time, these whales have strengths. These whales can only go so far in one direction before they're out of, out of gas per se. And the, what Rainbow Theory is doing, it's painting a picture to you to show you that when they're tapped out and the way the colors go we have four bullish colors and we have four bearish colors so you can see the drives that the bulls are doing green being the normal purple uh, blue being a little bit stronger let me zoom way in because you're screen sharing blue being stronger purple being the next strongest and then per uh, pink being the absolute peak and you can see it right here this is the 20k top that right there is the whales letting go of the market and they fully exited and they let it free fall on its face. And this is when everybody, I remember 2017, everybody's grandma was texting them, should I buy Bitcoin? It's going to go to the moon. And it free fell and it ate everyone alive. Um, a few advanced traders traded this and did really, really, really well. Um, but this was the leap of faith we took on and you can see it. The rainbow theory hit and um, right around here, 4,400 to here, I think I put every free dollar I had to my name on that range and had to watch it go all the way to 3,100. So it was a very, very painful thing to watch the portfolio go the whole way. But it was either either Rainbow Theory is real or I'm done and went in on it and held it and we came all the way out of it. And we actually took it all the way to the 13.5, it was 13.8 and actually exited at 13.5 with the uh, the Rainbow Theory and then re-entered it. But on the flip side, let me go back to the colors. As you can see the blue, or the green to blue to purple to pink, and then back down, the flip side is red to yellow to orange to white, or it's red, orange, yellow, white. So the lighter the colors get. And whites are your absolute capitulation and your death wicks, and that is when the 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 market makers or the whales at B are completely destroying everybody. And when everybody's crying and dumping all these people that bought at 20 K and they're selling at seven whales are loading it up and then offloading it again. So I'm going to add a little flavor here. Um, we're so our runner and I are trying to teach people how to use this. That's like the whole point of this stream. This is a kind of an introduction. We're going to turn this into a YouTube video. You, basically we're filming a YouTube video. You guys get to see it live. Like that's how you can kind of think of it. Um, 
but but what you need to keep in mind is that the colors are like an intensity map so you've heard of heat maps where people have their bids uh, or their ass kind of layered and then people traders will use that as a sort of tool to gauge like oh i should buy here or there's hey there's a whale lurking and he's got buys down in here maybe that's a liquidity point this is just another tool kind of in a similar vein so what are the whales doing the ones that don't want to be seen what actions are they actually taking right now um versus like oh well the order book has a 100 gazillion dollar bid so that means everything's going to go up well you know that's where the heat maps are helpful for for culling the bs from from away from the real uh and you're left with like what's real and in a similar vein this pull this culls away a lot of the bs market activity the errant ups and downs and the death wicks and the, not the death with the like the darth maul candles so to speak where they just go up and down the barts etc it kind of culls away all of that filters it out strains it and what you're left with is a sort of reality check of hey what's really going on here um and so my fate my personal favorite so it, if mr r runner if you'll show uh the middle of this year the 21 real quick uh, my personal favorite visual example of this is like i was saying the bottom that i completely slept through it, this 30k bottom and somebody in chat was right yes i had family stuff going on blah 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 not an excuse to be honest but if you look at the intensity of colors here it's like um it's like a fire raging hot and then slowly burning out with each touch of the 30k you can see it was white hot yellow big bright yellow lots of uh, volume lots of a big intense shove down and then with each successive drop to the 30k lows it the colors get less and less and less vibrant until finally you know it's a mixture i know you can't really see right here um but eventually it goes from lots of whites and yellows to just a few yellows to some yellows and orange and then the last touch was only an orange and that was it um and what this should have been for me if i had had this tool at the time which this was not developed at the time right so this is a this is a fairly new tool that's being um released what that would have shown me is that whoa like there is literally no more supply supply is exhausted the buyers have won and now the direction is okay that is not something that that my multi-year market cycle and you know mentality would have picked up on that is not something that my mentality of a wyckoff top equals a cycle top that would not have picked up on it but this visual is 100 percent what i would have need of needed to have seen to like to snap out of it to to accept the fact that hey you know what this is probably going for it and this this right here is the point to load up not waiting for for another sign from the market but then maybe this is the sign now some time has gone by and and today we know about like a, a, a potential etf being announced and going live like literally tomorrow um there's all kinds of this bullish news and most likely some people were front running a lot of that information and you could see when candles go ten thousand dollars in two days uh with hardly any pullback there there was some people incentivized to go hard here uh, but i believe that this picked up on it in a way that even the old school ways that i look at markets did not pick up on it and so that's why this is one of the only i guess it is the only indicator that i will proudly shill and be like yeah this is this is something that i will stand beside and put my name beside because it's it's legit as hell it's the real deal um now obviously we have to do the whole uh legal thing where like this is this is all for uh education purposes and you have to make your own trades and this is not investment advice and it's not but if i was going to say like what indicator i like and i would actually i would like put my name and reputation beside this is literally the the only one at this time so that's it people are asking by the way is this free this is not free um so this is something that is a paid deal uh, and this is not like hashtag ad where say our runner is paying me to to have him on and discuss this that is not the situation this is something that i personally use uh with with his blessing and so i i felt so strongly that it is worth sharing that i want to have him on and, and spend an entire stream going over in later a video and everything so let me under, let me just kind of paint some of the basics here because this is the main indicator here you have your colors the other thing we have here is you know jack is always chasing whales well i've kind of programmed that as well and when you see these triangles those are called whale prints 
And essentially when we have an anomaly in the order books where the whales are actually paying abnormally large amounts of money to either offload or buy coins, it'll sit there and print it. And it gives you a heads up what's going on, um, what their intentions are. So we'll walk through this kind of the run and then the downtrend of it as well and just kind of show you guys what's going on. And as you can see here, we were coming out of an accumulation bottom. We've got a bunch of pivot. It also prints, uh, these are custom pivots as well um, that show support and resistance. And we can go over those later if people have more questions, but pivots are not a new thing. But we come out of this kind of the accumulation range and we see the colors flip and they start showing that we've got actual whales pushing this and we've got whale prints going the whole way up. And you can see steady, steady, steady power. We're going into a full on bull market and it keeps going. And we don't really see any signs of weaknesses. It, it keeps going. We keep getting buys. We don't see any red whale prints yet. They keep buying and then we full go full pink, which is very, very hard to sustain. We get to a top, we print a pivot, and then we bleed colors out. And anytime you see a run of the, the hardest colors, that means a top is forming. So no matter how strong a whale is, the basis of rainbow theory is if every single whale in the world wanted to buy today, there's a price they can't get to. Like Bitcoin will not go to infinity in a day. It might get to a million dollars in five, 10 years, whatever. You know, that's awesome. But they're not going to a million dollars today. There's limits to how far a whale can go up and there's limits to how far a whale can go down. Um, a lot of the basis, if you can read, it, it's kind of like it's kind of taking mayor multiple theory and using it into something you can actually swing trade and scalp trade with. Um, if you just Google that one, there's a bunch of insight on that one as well that looks on the absolute limits. And um, But anywho, we see the drive. We see the color start showing up. And with a normal, normal trend, you wouldn't really see this. But with the rainbow, you can actually print it and see the colors driving up. And then we have a bleed out. The colors bleed out to green. And right here, they took profit. The guys who loaded up down in here have taken profit and now the question is are they going to come back and they did it keeps printing we see whale triangles print we see colors rotate again we're going hard into the rainbow and we're getting to the top of the color range again and then they dropped it and then we picked up an actual anomaly we have a whale sale print here zoom in on that so they can see how that how that actually looks because i i like that one a lot so it's actually showing a take profit before like yeah, that, that 12 hour closed in kind of a goofy way. Um, but if you had the patience and I guess with a bit of luck, that would have been a really nice swing trade. Yeah. And if you look at this at four hours, there's a lot more triangles and you can see it, but essentially it's telling you can see first off the colors are maxing out on pink. It's rotating out. You, they took profit here and you should get take profit as well. So that's the second take profit. And then the whale printed here. And then the question is, you ask yourself, are they going to come back for more? And it went down, bled out. We see uh, bulls coming back in, another drive. But notice here, while we had pinks and purples, this drive here, while it went to a higher high, it's weaker colors. So that gives you the first sign of weakness with the bulls, is saying, hey, the bulls didn't print a pink here at all something's maybe up and right around this area is when jack started picking up hey this might be a wyckoff top that nobody's talking about and kind of counter everyone that, was talking 100k that red arrow right there was when i got real loud about it which is funny because that's when your that's when your stuff was going crazy like the, yeah, and the one kind of like on the 19th whatever date yeah and look at it so we we set the all-time high and they took profit and the bulls were only able to print a blue. That is a really like pump your brakes. Even if you can't see Wyckoff, you can see that they're weaker. And with, and like I said, you can't see this with red and greens. You flat out cannot see this. If you're very, very good at Wyckoff, you, you can catch it, but this thing paints the picture that makes it like cheating. Um, and yes, I'm, I'm, I'm biased, but I've, like I said, I've used this for years and it's done really well and I actually debated for a long time if I'd actually release this, but um, did finally make that decision and we have it live now. But to finish the cycle, Jack, so 
this started painting, hey, they're they're taking profit heavy. They took profit again a weaker. That was a really weak all-time high print. We actually see some whales selling. And then we did a lower high. And it all died off. And it went all the way down. And this was when it was an absolute free fall. And you see them adding pain to it. We've got massive, massive sales. And then they actually printed a death wick here. It, that's when it went ten thousand dollars in an, an like an hour or something like that. It was some crazy, crazy. Yeah, crazy when this there. happened, it shut down every exchange in the market. Coinbase went down, Binance yeah. went down, FTX even went down. I think it was only ten minutes, but FTX went down. And when they hit it, they, I mean, they thirty-two percent, and that's only on Coinbase. I think. Um, and then it rallied back above the point of breakdown, and then it spent like two months sideways yeah That's crazy and then this is what tore people up and it printed the pivot here and you could see your established range where they took it and you see the same thing on this side you can see the colors and it's like the inverse of the top that's what he's trying to, trying to... how bad crypto twitter twitter was i mean there was it was gnarly a lot of people were posting pnl losses like i've never even seen before and frankly if you look at this you are scared and you don't know where to go. Yeah. Um, and I lean back on my 100-year-old market theory and it didn't know how to trade this other than sit and wait. Yeah. And uh, this is where, you know, Jack and I had a lot of discussions about this saying, hey, we're going to 20K. And I'm, I'm sitting there holding the ground. I said, you cannot defeat this. This, this range here for yep. this indicator is saying you aren't going past here. That's it. And... Lo and behold, we did it, and they grinded to it. And I, man, I thought they were going to do it. When this ground down, I really thought they were going to break it, and they went through. You actually see, let me get that drawing back. That's an actual whale print. That's the actual bulls holding the line. They came in hard and bought that up and said, no more bears. That, that you're, we're holding this, and then it came out. And then the whole thing started coming up again. They, the market went ape. We had a well print here. They took some profit and slowed it down. They pumped again to another top, weaker, weaker, weaker. Anomaly detected from the bears. It bled out a little bit, and now we're going back for the all-time high again. And you're seeing the colors print. They are going nuts. And I'm going to remove all these drawings. Look what it's doing with the pivots. These pivots back from February, March, and April, it's actually interacting with them. So you can actually There's see it bounce. Big off. sell offs, yeah. Big take profit yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. So there, there. There's a lot of people that were stuck here, and it's chewing through them right now. Yeah, because they'll have a limit sell. Like you know what? As long as I get out, I'm fine. Overhead resistance, that whole theory. Um, it's like eating through those guys, getting them out of the way. Plus some of the the lower, lower time frame bottom longers that are like, okay, good enough, I'm out. So I, there's a number of questions, and if you want to address them now or wait till the end or something, that's fine. Um, yeah, we go through the questions now. That's totally fine, but I can't read while I'm doing this. No, so what I got are you. They? So I, I've got a few, a list of them. Um, I think the biggest one, or probably, the, I guess, the most important and easiest to answer is, are these whale prints, like the arrows um, and the colors and stuff, are they live? Are they retroactively added? How, how does that work? I know the answer, but I'm, letting, I'm setting you up. So... There's three things here. There's the colors, there's the whale prints, and then there's the pivots. So once a triangle shows up, once the, the bar closes, it stays there. Now, sometimes in the order book, the bulls and the bears are fighting each other. And these will sometimes show up on the active candle and then disappear. But once the bar closes, that's it. Um, it solidifies it that says, hey, by the time this bar closed, the bulls printed an anomaly. And they took it and they won. Um, essentially, it's it's like when, when Jack is talking about games of what the whales are doing and they're trying to shake you out, that's what these are. This is them putting their hands in the market to make things happen. And they're, they're, they're eating the order books at a premium. These whales don't do market sales unless they want to do something in particular. They will sit there on limit bids all day, every day. But this is them coming out of the shadows to push it. And right here, this is another one. You see it. We came out of the bear market, and they said, uh-uh, we're sending it. And on the flip side, someone came in and tried to calm them down, and then they ended up grinding through it and still winning. Um, the pivots, though, the pivots sometimes take a while. Um, 
they won't once they I mean they once they show up they stay there but essentially is it has to sit there and wait for so many candles to confirm that the pivot was real otherwise it would be drawing a pivot at every single candle as you went down but essentially once it gets a range and it figures out yeah that was it it prints it and for the most part I mean it's maybe if you're trading one minute or candles like jack does sometimes maybe <laughs> an issue but like guilty. i'm I, guilty. i'm using the pivots back from april here currently and the pivots from yeah april and all the way to here and you can see them they're real um the pivot from here is interacted with and bounces off so, so. In, in chat just to add um these pivots and the whale triangles will change based on the hour setting that you have uh, and then you can also adjust some intensities so for example, yeah. like Doge may trade very different from Bitcoin. Like they, you have to adjust the settings just a little bit, but it's all the same idea. Like, Hey, when there's a, when there's a multiple touch of a bottom and then it, it comes out of that bottom and reverses, you would adjust the colors to where it shows you, um, a big intense drop, a lesser intensity, lesser intensity, and then on, and then you leave those settings and like, okay, the two hour with these settings, I'm good. Like I'm going to leave that pulled up. Everything's good. Um, so that was one thing. The other thing is. He's not joking. I, as a way to stress test this, this whole system, I used this on uranium on one minute charts for the last week. And I've done really well with it. Like it's pretty, it's laughable. Um, but I use it on traditional markets, which is crazy that, that this is a system really developed for crypto and it has worked really, really well with traditional markets. He's pulling up Tesla just to give you the same idea, but it's, it's the same concept. Like, so, this is why I'm so like kaboom, like brain matter on the walls and everything, because the the insinuation of this, like across multiple different markets and different styles of markets, it was pretty wild. It, it, why why would you expect it only work for crypto? Well, crypto is a very different animal. The volatility of like Bitcoin compared to say the Dow Jones is very different, right? And so if you're using something that's based off like percentages away from the moving average and stuff like that, you're not going to see the Dow Jones go up 40% in a day. You will see that on Bitcoin. So it was wild to me that what is, what it was like kind of custom tailored for one environment actually worked for, for all of them. So it was pretty wild. One of the big questions. And so if you want to add to this, that's fine. And, but then as you address uh, whatever you're going to say, the chat wants to know if you can, if you can use the replay tool, um, on some like kind of key areas and actually show how how it played out in real time and then also can you adjust the colors manually uh, we have some folks that say they're colorblind um, is there like some ways they can change the gradients about doing a colorblind version um, i'm partially colorblind on a few things but so um but dm me specifically and let me let me chat with you and see what colors work um frankly uh these colors took me an unbelievable amount of time um, to actually get it to look right and the way it paints. And this is actually factory Honda red racing red. That's KTM yellow, Suzuki <laughs> yellow, or Suzuki yellow, KTM orange. That is Barbie, that. Barbie Jeep pink. And that's Kawasaki <laughs> green. And that's FTX Scion. Cyan. That's yeah. awesome. And by the way, guys, I added my discord link. Um, it's a free discord. We got all kinds of... Uh, walks of life traders in there big time little time miners collectors whatever all, all sorts of group uh all sorts of people in the group and our runner and we have a little room set up if you've got questions on this specific um system if you have questions on like hey can you change the colors blah 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 that's a good way to do it uh or you can also just direct message him on discord as well uh he's on twitter also Cool. So, so let me run you through, like, does this work on traditionals? And we can do some replays. So Tesla is a wild, wild coin. And, and back to his point, does it work on traditionals? I've been building this stuff for over three years, and I don't trade stocks. I, I really don't like stocks that trade 9 to 5. I like crypto that's 24-7. But as you can see, you see the same stuff. We have a purple. We have a bleed out. The bulls show up. We have another drive up. We print another pivot. It bleeds out chatter chatter and the bulls pick it up again and then we finally go for the final top and then it bleeds out and you see the bleed out that's a take profit that was a take profit all the way up here and then it bled out and it kind of went through an accumulation range and you see the colors flip that's all bearish colors right so if you rode this the whole way up using the, a rainbow tool it, it works great 
Um, as far as colors go, there is adjustments. I think someone asked, or you were saying about the adjustments of it. So I, I've tried to simplify the adjustments of it, everything. We've got rainbow colors. We have the bull trend, bull versus bear flip settings. And then we have the whale triangle settings, and then you can adjust the pivots and turn them off and on. Um, simple one here is like if your pivot sensitivity, if you're not seeing enough pivots, you can back it off and you'll start seeing more pivots appear and you'll get the uh, picture that you want for the time frame you're going. On the flip side, if there's too many, you can increase it and decrease the amount of pivots. Um, most of these is default to what works for most coins around four hours, but like Jack said, SHIB doesn't trade like Bitcoin, um, especially when DGENs are trading it on one minute candles. Um, the color shifts as well, you can change them. A lot of people will pull these up on some really radical time frames. They see everything is pink or purple, something like that. You can adjust it. And there's no magical settings. People sometimes ask me, like, am I doing very, very specific things to trade? I'm literally sitting here with a scroll wheel on my mouse and eyeballing it. And I was like, yeah, that looks good. You can see the bleed out and you can see the pictures here. And then I just go to trading and I kind of leave it. I spend very little time tuning this thing. It's very, very complicated on the back end. But I've simplified like all the settings for the users that have no idea what's going on. You can just sit there and adjust it. Um, and then this is a good kind of a blow off top that kind of went into an accumulation range. We can do a replay. Um, someone was asking for that. There's your bull bear line chasing it. And you see those are printing. So he's working. He, this is the replay tool. Yeah. And, and frankly, if anybody's trying to sell you something, um, this is not just me trying to sell something to you, but like if someone's selling you something, always do the replay. You can, there's a lot of stuff out there that's fake and you can see how that print just showed up for that um, once it confirmed it. But um, frankly, there's a lot of like bots and stuff that are like that. Their back testing looks mythical. And then when you do the replay, you'll find in that the bot will go back and remove prints and make their numbers lie. But that's a replay on that one. And you could see it took that a little while to print, but um, I'll work on the colorblind things like DM me. I'm, I'm on Twitter and in the discord and I can, I can try to do a black and white gradient. Um, I'll try to see what I can do. Where does the data come from? Yes. Thank you. So a lot of people are, are asking, um, you know, what is this based off? Is this based off volume? Is this based off EMA? Like, what is it? What is it the, like both the pivots and the, the quote whale arrows? That's a, a big question. Okay. So, um, I can go into some of it, but I, I can't spill all the beans. So colors is based off strength. So there's a lot of different things, but the colors are simply based on price action. It's only looking at prices and how far you can push stuff. Um, I've spent four years looking at how far people can push coins within a day. Um, and I've kind of figured out the equations to it. What's the walls and the limits? Um, it's It's... There's a point at which, like you were saying, we dropped 20% in a day. You know Bitcoin can't go 90% down in a day, right? So we can catch it, and there's a way to catch it with the rainbow theory. Um, so that's based on price action. The whale prints that you see here is based on orders. This is currently scanning the order books, and it's developing a trend that's trying to say, like, okay, this is normal chatter of the market. This is normal chatter of the market. And all of a sudden, if it detects an anomaly that it can see, it'll print the whale print and say, hey, they just literally shook the market hard. They kicked it and something happened and it was bullish. It was the bulls that did it. We don't know why, but this is a separate part of the indicator that's saying, hey, they kicked it. And the same thing here, you can see it detected a bear. Bears are kicking it. They're kicking it and it's hard. It's not that they're just eight limit orders. They are kicking the market and kind of trying to manipulate the market so anytime he's talking about a wyckoff market maker that's what those whale triangles are printing and then the pivot lines is uh it's basically the it's a custom pivot code that i've used um and spent a bunch of time on trying to do just to hot rod it and make it work about as close as i can get to automating jack's horizontal lines with a bot so it's it's sitting there trying to print pretty good as clean as it could and I, I laugh as you can see is like it interacts so well and even right now we're we're interacting with these pivots right now and it's I'm not sitting here tuning this thing to the T to make it look like that it just doesn't naturally yeah it's very cool uh, um, what about hidden orders like Bitfinex is real big on um, on hidden limit orders so how would this read it I, d I don't look at order books so 
to answer that question. The frankly, because as Jack has pulled up the Bitfinex order books and how they counter trade the market, order books are smoke and mirrors with big whales playing games and not necessarily have money there. So all of this is only based on actual executed trades because it's the only thing where people actually put their money to use. Um, I don't care if somebody puts a giant wall right here with allegedly $3 trillion. If they're not actually in the, in play, I, I, I don't want to look at it because it can skew the numbers. It's if that's a way to look at it, because you'll see some stuff, especially with the on chain guys, they'll sniff out some really weird stuff. And oftentimes it's at Bitfinex. And when we were, I remember Jack was pulling up charts here. We would get to the top of the range here, and then you would just see an ungodly amount of Bitfinex shorts pile on. And then the it reversed, they disappeared. They didn't sit there and ride it down and take profit. As soon as they got the reversal, they killed it. And it was like, why on earth did they put that many billions of dollars in a short and not use it to make profit? And they're just using manipulation. Um, but I, I'm not a big fan of orders that haven't been executed, so I don't look at it. And frankly, this is enough, way more than I need and anybody else needs, I think, to trade profitably. Right. Hey, so you mentioned Stacked Invest. Do you, do you have any bots that use this on Stacked Invest right now? So I do the Captain Quint bots. Um, and that's been something I've done for a long time. Those went live about 2019. We did a lot of trials. Um, Jack and I were trading a bunch of stuff um, with those and doing really well. And then um, a lot of the stuff that I've learned through Stacked is in this. And so vice versa, a lot of the Rainbow Trend stuff is in my Quint bots. And a lot of the Quint bots is in this. Now, this is not a bot. This 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 is not telling you buy here, sell here. If I did algo trading and showed you, it would look like a mess. There are buys and sells all over this. And it's with like the most profitable bot, profitable bots trade at like a 60% win rate. So for manual people that are swing trading, that's that's a hard thing to manage and they don't like it. So what this thing is designed to do, and, and like, and you can see what Jack was saying, like Jack did not want along here. This thing is trying to tell you, hey, you're scared. You definitely need to buy this DCA in and you need to pay attention. Here's another one. Bulls coming in. They're holding the line. And then lo and behold, the whole trend flipped and it stayed. And it's like, hey, last call, buckle up. The whales are here. You need to really, really wait. So even if you're, you know, a knife catcher, it's nudging you to tell you, buy it here. Here's a defend if you really want to kind of slowly DCA in. Which that's kind of where I, like when I use the system, I always wait for that second or third touch. I, I almost never go straight for that that initial grab. Yeah. Or if you just want to sit on your sit on your hands, that's the last call. The bear trend flips perfectly. Um, Especially with all those those down arrows and it actually didn't didn't do anything. Like it did not crack the lows and start a new trend down. Yeah, flat out. They came and they tried, and the they bulls tried. just sent it, and they said no. Nope. And that, that is your signal, risk on, 100% risk on. And you know your stop loss, right? Look at all these pivots. There's your stop loss. Put it there. You go full risk on. If you lose it, you lost it there. If not, the upside is quite large potential. Because the, the the truth was is if this is a reaccumulation double double or a bottom um, that we're gonna go take off on. I mean, your, yeah, that was 70, crazy. Yeah, it was 75% if you trusted this when nobody wanted to long this. Um, nobody. They came back in hindsight and talked about it. I know of two people that were talking Deathwick range here. Now, I was one of them, and then uh, 9K was the other. Um, but that's a 75% spot trade on slow Bitcoin. I mean, if it's. And, and it's also nudging you. popping off, right? Like I think Ethereum doubled that, right? During that time, like Ethereum went over yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Example. And you can see the same thing. Big colors, decent colors, weak colors, a higher high with no colors. And then the whales printed, the bear whales printed that. And that's your get out. Because this could, <laughs> I remember the Jack streams they were talking about is like, we started coming up and he, he was uncomfortable. And he's like, there is such thing as an exit pump. Yeah, and we've seen and, it. We've seen yeah, it. Yeah, and we've seen it. And, and this this was telling you, get out, risk off. You were risk on here, risk off here, and wait it out. And then it flipped again, and it's bull again. And we were risk on. 
Yeah, but I was I was I was sitting there reading this and scared. And I was like, man, we may not get all time high. It maybe we bleed all the way back out to twenty and we we sit there for two years, three years, and now it's it's taken off. And now we gotta see what it does. It's there's not much left. So, oh, somebody asked earlier, I thought this was a pretty good call. They said, can you pull up some alts, like now, like current alts and kind of go through a couple to see if there's any setups and like kind of just as a, a live beta test, you know, what do you see? Like Shiba, whatever, XRP, Shiba, um, Litecoin, Atom, ADA, you your anything. Whatever, and we can do it. So this is the indicator and we can talk about other stuff, but this is what I daily drive. I have visible range set up on the side because you've got the pivot and then you've also got the visible range showing you where they really were stacked. So if, you, if you're not familiar with visible range, this is where the volume is stacked on price. And anytime you see a peak, like that's a fighting, that's a line that's getting fought between the bulls and the bears. And I mark those as well. Uh, now, when you're in price discovery, this doesn't exist, but when you're going through ranges that have always been traded, you can see where they are. So there's that one. I also do, this isn't released yet, but this is a a bot that is going to be released to look over the shoulders of the traders when they should just be taking profits. Because essentially when you do these, you long and you just start nipping profits all the way up. Take 20% out, 20% out, 20% out until the, the trend dies and then your stop loss will get hit in profit. So... We can talk, we can save that one for a later stream and that thing's frankly not yeah, released. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so let's do this. Let's go over a couple alts and then I'm gonna like kind of go over my section of things. Cool. Like well, this said, is Ethereum and this is a great one. Okay. Like this is the number two, yeah. And what it you, painted it perfectly. So same thing. Well, like, 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 like common, like, like current day stuff. I mean, like within, like, where do you, like, where do you project things are going? You know, like for whatever. Yeah, whatever okay. Day. So. Let me back it up just a little bit. So that was the the top, top, top. And you can see, uh, we can go over that later. There's like 40, 4,500 or whatever. Yeah, there's your capitulation. There's all your white candles, you know, buy that up. And this is where you start building bags. That range. Longed up. And it's been going sideways for a while. Um, and you a lot of bearish signals here. So I've been sitting long spot since down here and i still have it and haven't sold it uh, probably my second biggest bag um and i've been sitting on it and just watching um, i'm not leveraged so i'm spot but lately it's showing strength again but it's grinding you see how we've had colors here the blues and the purples and then the big sales and bleed off they're slowly coming at it and we finally had a print there with a whale triangle and a little bit of blue here and i think it's going to keep going and try to take the all-time high. And then once we get the all-time high, it's going to go into price discovery. But before it does that, you have to take out that pivot and you have to take out that all-time high pivot. So it's going to come up and bounce in range. And if you see it, it'll go like that. That's what we want to see. Um, but frankly, this is dependent on Bitcoin as well, right? Bitcoin has to get its shit together and take the all-time high. If it gets the all-time high, this will send. Um, they also push the difficulty bomb out on Ethereum, but that's a that's a non-metrics thing. Let's do uranium. Let's go. We are gonna go to one second candles. <laughs> hey, You're getting into my content. Time. You're getting into what I was gonna show. You bastard. I mean, it actually works on uranium no, too. It was I mean, it's stupid. This is one hour, and if you want to take these pinks out, it's it's printing tops. <laughs> what Jack does on his lunch break, I do not recommend though. Yeah, I was I was playing around with it on the one minute. It was one minute, okay? It wasn't one second. Was... No, let's look at. Will you pull up uh, Litecoin, USD? Oh. Litecoin, USD. Yep. Not because Litecoin. this is a good stress test. Like, like are these recent moves bullshit? Are they legitimate? So can we look at the Walmart candle? The Walmart candle. Yeah. So I have insider information that I am hearing that Target is about to adopt Litecoin as oh, well. Litecoin uh, Twitter handle is going to start tweeting about it. I use uh, I use Josh's cloud with this, and this is another part of the Rainbow Suites. I can't stand doing the clouds, custom clouds. So I've actually built this to do um, Josh cloud, standard cloud, or a custom cloud with one-click settings. And if you want... Um, 
all of the Ichimoku, you can get it all here. But with the Rainbow Trends, it gets way too messy. But Rainbow Trends, it's not aware of the Ichimoku cloud, but it interacts with it perfectly. So I, like when I'm daily driving, I'm just sitting here looking at four hours usually when I'm just scanning for entries. And frankly, this is what we've got on Litecoin. Um, and this, this has shaken up a lot of people, the Walmart scam pump. If you guys weren't familiar, somebody posted and made a website announcement that Litecoin was going to be picked up by, um, or Walmart was going to pick Walmart. up Litecoin. Yeah, Walmart, was like you could check out at Walmart to use Litecoin. And, and we frankly, we sold this at the top. I mean, like I sold somewhere above 220. I called my mom. She sold every single Litecoin she had. I was calling everybody. Um, it was blowing everything out. And I was like, even if it's true, and then Target says I they take that. it, there's no way we're getting up here. The Rainbow Trends is like, you can't go this damn high. You need to take profit here. So we did. But it bled out, and it's bleeding. But it's forming a trend up. And it's going. But it's we got to see what's up. It did cut through edge to edge on the uh on josh's cloud it came down and it tested it and tried to test it again so it's likely going to drive up in my opinion go through those pivots and then start going up but this this is going to be hard to crunch through that and that there's a lot of orders and stuff stuck here that they've got to get through actually soul is one i'm i'm yeah, loaded up on soul i love soul because i think it's going to full send one of these days i just don't know when Dude. as crazy as it's been so and this is a good example. Soul is really violent, and this run was crazy, and it was backed by Alameda. Is it one hour? Let me go back to four hour and just pull it back. So the colors are a little aggressive here. So if I was daily driving this, I would just go straight up to this and back that off a little bit. Um, or I'm sorry, increase it to base. There you go. So this is what I'm currently watching, and I just deleted all my drawings, but I've been watching... <laughs> I've been watching the wedge. That's what I've been fair. watching. And frankly, fair this fair. was if you saw this this run, this run was insane. The implications of that, guys, is like disgusting. If that really starts breaking out and you can see those two little green prints, the green arrow prints here not too long ago. Um that could get that could get wild. Yeah, and you saw them when they came out of the accumulation, like Alameda and FTX went hard, pumped it up, re-entered, re-entered, and they kept going, and they went all the way up to a blow-off top. And that's your your call-off right here, right? You gapped the cloud, it bled to green, and it stayed green, and no one came back and actually printed some red candles, so you would risk off completely there and kind of wait, wait it out. Because that's always the thing is, you're going to see that they pump it. This is a take profit that can't be sustained. We need to know if the whales come back whales came back and go and you even see them come in like insanely hard and they're trying to get the last bit that they can get out of it and then the bull, the bears are like that's it buddy you're not doing it and then it bled out um but that's what i'm currently watching and i think it's about to break so here's something you guys need to know uh because there's i see this discussion in the chat it's the right one to have uh mr captain r runner captain quint runner whatever you want to go by um he does not look at the Bitcoin pairs. So a lot of people in the chat are talking about how like, yeah, but sold Bitcoin or like, wait, but Litecoin, Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. Yes. The answer is yes. You're right. Uh, you're bang on. And these are the questions you need to have. But this is like to to address what you're really asking. The, this indicator suite, this, this, these are, this is a, a tool set. You're, it's just like, you know how electricians have a different tool bag than say like carpenters. Like this is a a set of tools for you to deploy how you deem best. So if you want to, to use this on traditional markets, then go for it. If you want to use this on the Bitcoin pairs, then go for it. Our runner, the you know, who's has who built this, only uses them on the dollar pair, and you know, he's been great and very successful with it. So that's how he chooses to do it. But that does not mean that you, user, cannot use it on the Bitcoin pair. I love to use it on the Bitcoin pair. In fact, when I look at something like Soul Tether or Soul USD, even if it looks like a massive consolidation about to break out, the first thing I do is go and look at the Bitcoin pair and see if the whales have started rolling into that yet. Um, and if they haven't, I'm probably gonna wait just a little bit because what that may 
insinuate is that Bitcoin has some kind of blow off top or what, or, you know, a shove to the all time high or whatever before capital really starts rolling into these alts. So not to say the alt's going to nuke, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it, if I, if the Bitcoin pair, it, it may, it may encourage me to wait just a minute, you know, and just see how the Bitcoin pair price action works. Yeah, so and he says like it's the suite. This is the full suite, um, and which we can touch some of it. This is the split volume indicator that I use. I hate volume on the normal tradition where it's just red and green bars on the top. So I put all the bull bars on the top, and I put all the bear ball bear <laughs> bear bars on the bottom. And then any of them that have really really big spikes, it paints them a different color to get your attention. And like you can see here, all of that is that and it's showing you like they're going absolutely hard and the bears are responding and but right now volumes kind of died off and i'm waiting for these big bulls to come back and take it and go above 220. Um, i'm a big big believer in soul because it's an actual coin that's used like all of ftx runs on it and i think when it went down a few weeks ago, it was processing 300,000 transactions a second. I don't know if any other- It was something stupid, yeah. Any other crypto coin did that. Um, and then the other indicator, a lot of people have asked for anchored OBV on, bal on balance volume in PineScript or in TradingView, that, there it is. If you want anchored OBV, I've got it. Uh, a lot of people have to get it outside of TradingView. Um, and you just, you can, I also added colors to it as well. There's a lot of people that do OBV. I can't trade OBV at all, but anchored OBV I can. And it gives me an indicator bias of is it bullish or is it bearish? And a lot of times you'll get, you'll see price going up, not necessarily on this chart, but you'll see price going up and you'll see OBV going down. And that is a, 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 com a secondary confirmation that, hey, bulls are about to lose and it's going to go down. But I just wanted to show those on the screen. So you get the custom clouds, you get the main indicator, and then you get the split volume tool. Um, and th these are what I, I daily drive with these. And just to be clear, guys, um, the the way that our runner has this set up, and yeah, so yes, this is a paid indicator. Um, it is, there's a $50 option a, a month, and that is for basically what you're looking at here. Um, the, the pivot lines are drawn, the whale arrows up or down are there. Um, but then there's like, there's additional functions. There's a cloud, there's an OBV, there's even a take profit, which is like disgusting. Why don't you show them Bitcoin, the macro Bitcoin take profit? Uh, because I think that is one of the, the nastiest, but I think he's only got that set up in the suite right now. Like that's the only way to get that, which is, oh, it is expensive. Like you gotta, you gotta be serious if this is what you want to do. If you're like, Hey, I got a thousand bucks. This, you know, this may not be kind of what you're wanting to do. Um, but if you're, if you're like. If I was to start a crypto hedge fund, which I'm I'm very serious about doing, um, I will be using this entire suite, like 100%. I will be using it. This is not like a maybe thing. I will be using it. Uh, so I I believe in the power of this. Uh, but if you were just using it for like kind of casual trading, like, hey, what is Soul doing? Hey, did the whales enter Soul like over the last 12 hours because suddenly the price action is a little different? Then just like the, the lowest option is probably all you need. So you're good. That's all you need to do. You don't need to worry about the rest. Um, so it's up to you. It's whatever you're up to. Yeah. So frankly, if, if you're just trading a few hundred bucks, I don't put 50 bucks towards me. Um, but if you're trading at least a few thousand, you're the 50 bucks a month, I think is a, a good starting point for a price. And frankly, we may increase prices later, but I don't know yet. We'll see. And what he's talking about the take profit indicator, this isn't released yet. And this will be an add on, um, just frankly, because it's, it's so deadly. Um, and I, don't, I frankly don't know how to explain it. Um, it's essentially adding a bot to oversee you. Um, it's kind of like having a buddy there to help you trade. Um, and this thing works on all coins, all prices, all timescales. And as you can see it, let me remove the, the triangles. Jack does a lot of 100% in, 100% out. I go, I go 100% in. And then every time it goes crazy, I pretty much nip out 20% profit and just let it sit in cash. And that's what this bot is designed to do. And it's telling you, you need to take profit all along the way. It's not 100%, but it's damn near. Um, this is frankly some code that I've been working on for about two years, and I finally cracked it two weeks ago. Um, and it even works on Tesla. 
Pantalga and I were messing with this yesterday and we were laughing because we were looking at Apple stocks. We were looking at everything. Um, this is Tesla on the six hour. Everything's default. I mean, this is the same indicator that was telling you when to take profits on Bitcoin is telling you where to take profits on Tesla. So it works really well. And even the take profits down here. And this is just try to like, I'm trying to make it to where people don't get destroyed by the bulls. Like the whole reason I started programming is I got destroyed in 2018 and I didn't want to let it happen again. So I developed rainbow theory and I've been chasing whales ever since. And this thing paints whales on the, on the, on the chart. Cause frankly, like I said, you can't see them here. You can see them here. But just to be clear here, nobody needs this. This is, you don't have to have this. I'm not like shoving this down your throat. This was recently released. I thought it was worth sharing and I'm sharing it. And but it's not like every stream's gonna be over this, but I thought it was worth um, pointing out because he has a, uh, like a limited number that he's going to uh, allow for now. And then he's probably gonna change the price and stuff. Like this is all very, very new and happening fast. And there's a lot of big eyes with big communities that are are on this right now. Um, so he's, yeah, I, and people will use it as like a marketing artificial scarcity thing. I'm not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying for now, this is available. It may not be forever. And I think it's cool. And I think it's worthwhile. Somebody in the chat had a, a great question. He said, can you do the replay tools to show off the take profits um, as a, I guess it's like a proof of life. Or this is not available yet. And we'll just to make clear, I'm still tuning it, but the oh, final the take code. The take profit isn't isn't in the suite, the full suite. No, no, no. This will be a separate thing. Ooh, just like, y'all get like the behind the scenes. Yeah, look, none of them have disappeared. It told you when to go, and that was it. Like I said, I I, I intentionally have spent hundreds of hours chasing people that make code that repaints. So everything I write, I try to make it to where it can't repaint, and none of these are repainting. So. Um, I'm glad to walk yeah. through any tr anything you want me to show you. I can show you it's not it's not fake or snake oil. This is some code that I've I've known it's deadly, but I could never get it to work. And I finally had a weird idea with a conversation with another quant, and it it finally clicked. And I played with it one night, and it worked. And because bot trading's not for everybody, flat out. If you're not willing to sit there and set it and forget it, bot trading's not for you. But I thought there would be added value here to tell you like, hey, you're in a trade. Maybe you killed it, right? The last thing I want is one of my, you know, one of my buddies or traders to nail this entry and then diamond hand it all the way back to here. It's so I tried break even or something. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you made crazy gains and this thing, and I wanted to have kind of a bot be your buddy and tell you, hey, take a little here, take a little here, take a little here. And frankly, this take profit indicator, it is not aware of the the rainbow or the ichimoku it's based on something completely different and it's telling you like hey even if the rainbow trend's not telling you you need to get out or at least some of it and right here it's telling you oops, the replay just did it it's telling you get out and it actually told you on that candle not that candle we can go show other ones is it based off jack's tweets that's what chat wants to know no, I don't do any on-chain <laughs> trees. And even here, if you I'm can bullish, see. Is that your take profit prints? Is that how it works? Yeah, there you go. There's your pink. <laughs> there's your pink rotation to blue, and it tagged it on the pink or the purple, and told you get out there. So it's a double confirmation. But this will be something I'm, I'll be releasing later. But it's kind of to be your buddy, and it's not. It's not 100, percent but it is damn near. All right, Chad. Like right here. Exclamation yeah. point raffle. Get in on this raffle because it doesn't last forever. I think it's like three minutes or something. Do exclamation point raffle. This is for the one month of, of the indicator. All right, sorry. Go ahead. No, no problem. And if, if you win mods, make sure you get their trading view name because I yeah. can't. Yeah. I have to have their actual trading view name. Otherwise, you just get the certificate. So there's that one. Um, take profit indicator. I'm, I'm sure there's a bunch of coins people want to look at. Um, what was the other ones you had marked down, Jack? Um, let's do Shiba. That's been, like, a lot of people have been talking about that. So Shiba actually got caught on this thing, and I didn't want to trade it, and I should have listened to the damn indicator, and I didn't. So What did it show you? It told you the bulls entered, and I didn't want to believe it because I hate dog coins. I, I will post dog charts, doge charts, but I don't like them. Oh, you're saying so you like the entry, like like the very, very... 
Yeah, let me reset all this stuff and then turn pivots off because it gets noisy on dog coins. So here's market cycle, market 101. This is what Jack says is, is boring accumulation multi-year. Kill right? the BPVR real quick. Right. This is where this is where the bulls or the the whales really enter, right? But I wasn't about to touch ship. I'm not a Doge Max. I'm a Doge Maxless, I guess is what you could say at the end of the day. And we came out of that accumulation range. And this is something I've never seen before. I've never seen whales come in that freaking hard. Like a half dozen prints all at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are 15 minute candles. Like whales came in, gave it a little kick, and then they came in full hard. And essentially what happened was the whales had loaded up Sheba for like two years or a year, whatever that time frame is. They got it going. And then once it was going, they just started taking profits on everybody. So they kicked it hard enough to where TikTok and all the crazy degens start talking about Shib again. And they went full freaking ape. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and say that this indicator will make you sell this stuff. Like, you're not going to be able to catch Wix on Doge or Shiba. But this thing will tell you, like, hey, you hate Doge or you hate Shib. You definitely need to pay attention that an entire fleet of whales came in here and bought a bunch of it. And this thing went on an ungodly run. And we can run through it real quick. Shib, big entries, big sales. You're printing uh, sustained pinks. That went to purple and bled out. You should definitely take profit there. They came back in for more. They printed an ungodly wick. Another take profit with this another goes, rotation. Chat, this goes, uh, he's going to keep going, but this goes on to be like three or 400% in three days. So this is what he's showing you just like on lower time frame. So like if you're scared, completely scared of trading dog coins, like... Tell me where the whales entered on that. You can't. Like you, where are they exit? Da, 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 but you can't. But rainbow trends, you you can, and you can actually catch these guys. I actually deleted it off. <laughs> Did you kill? You deleted your indicator. Yeah, there he goes. Sorry, guys. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, sorry, guys. It's back. not for sale anymore. I deleted it. <laughs> um, Turn your Photoshop back on. So everyone yeah, thinks yeah. it's real. Yeah, there you go. So. <laughs> You can take profit all along the way. Like you can actually navigate shipcoin. And these are 15 minute candles. Like this is some degen shit. Like take profits. And then it finally rotated. They set it in. That's the highest high. If you don't count that little wick, they set the highest high with only a blue. And then they had a well print. So literally like if you just wanted to go to where all the colors change, you would have paid attention that the whales entered there and you would have exited 240 percent 230 percent profit or if you called that 280 so it works on long time frames it works on short time frames and what's like, it showing now like current time it's kind of reaccumulation just chop you don't know because they took like, profit like they entered and they took profit right Is yeah and saying? it's doing a lot of weird stuff and it's going sideways and frankly once you do a 300 percent run in a few days like this is on the table. Like, yeah. I don't come back to these person. Even if, I mean, even if it printed something stupid, I'm not going to take all my profits and lose them on that. Now, listen, there was a, a streamer by the name of Crypto Jack, and he, he looked at a very similar chart, and the ticker was D-O-G-E, and he had a very similar thing to say, and it went another 10x from the consolidation at 6 You cents. bet against Elon, though. Bet against Elon. You don't bet against him, and you don't bet against SBF. Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't know what his recent tweet was with the bunny. Some people are saying he's referring to Ohm, but I don't know. Yeah, I know. And the 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 three comma three, which I get wasn't. It's been a long time since I've had electrical engineering classes. Um, but I don't know. That's what his wife, ex-wife, are they? Are they divorced now? I'm married. He's got a child with uh, what's her name, but I don't know. That's a separate stream. I don't. Yeah, we'll go get into that in our um, publicity. Stream. Yeah, so I, I mean, it's same thing. And frankly, what I'm waiting for is Shib to rotate into Doge because I don't know how Shib goes on a 300% run and Doge doesn't come back and tell everybody who's the real. Well, Shib. 
You know, it's funny you say that. Like, I'm gonna take, I'm taking the helm really quick. I'm gonna, because I actually made a custom shark. Oh, hello. I made a custom shark for Shib Doge. This is the Shib divided by Doge. This is like, like your alt Bitcoin. This is Shib. This is Shib. So, that's just showing very interesting things. Very I mean, interesting it, things. Is there a fundamental reason like SHIB <laughs> is programmed better than Doge? Like, I don't... No, I, wait, here's... I'll give you your fundamental reason. Doge has been played out. The play is done. It's over. That's how I see it. Like, who else is going to buy Doge that hasn't already? You're going you're gonna to convince Grandma? Like, uh, who, is, who is the next... The greater fool? Right, you hear about the greater fool... Theory, like you always need a greater fool to buy your bags from you. So who's the greater fool? So right now the Shib and Doge crowd are rotating heavy into Shib. Anyway. <laughs> it's funny, is it like touch the cloud? Like I, I props know, to Josh. Like, <laughs> how ridiculous <laughs> is this? <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, um mods say that they're ready for the giveaway winner. So mods, who who would be? Who would be? Why I'm is it in Aslan. Don Matthias OO. Don Matthias OO. Congratulations. Be sure to hit up the mods. Rigged. I don't even know who that is. Don, have you been here a while? You new guy? Don, thank you. He better be a follower. Yeah, he he had to have made a message or something. If he's not in the chat, we got to run it back. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna go Bitcoin. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over some stuff. So before before I go over my stuff, because I'm gonna spend you know a half hour or more going over my stuff, I'm gonna put the Discord stuff on. So I got yours pulled back up. Your screen. Is there anything else you want to go over? Because I know you got to run in a second. Um, is there anything else you you specifically want to cover on your stuff? Yeah, I guess if you could just pull up the website and show like the tutorials and stuff, because we've got a yeah, okay. lot of data on there. You can take the screen back. Okay. So like, we're throwing a lot of data at you guys, and I realize this is a unique thing. You can't go to Wikipedia and read about rainbow trends, but the website has got um, back testing. It has rainbow overviews. There's your colors. There's the explanation of the colors. There's your bear versus bull flips. So like if you guys are on the fence or whatever, just or even if you're not, just go go take a look at this. And this is all annotated to me, like showing you like in charts, like this is exactly what the whales are doing, and that's what it looks like in a top and a bottom. Um, we've also got back testing charts, and it's actual trades Jack and I have done since like 2018 using a more simplified version of rainbow theory. Um, it's all there. And like you um, guys, you guys got to understand too, like. I have a good job, like a good day job. Um, our runner has a good day job. This, it's not like if you guys don't buy this, like no, we don't eat. Like, it's not about that. Like this is just a a value add that I thought was worth sharing. It's brand new. It may not be around forever and or it may be limited. I don't know. There's like, this is so new. It's not like worked out with a team of marketing people. Like, it's just like you may have had your favorite restaurant and then suddenly, you know, it changed or there's new owners or whatever. Like you just got to you got to act while there's while there's an opportunity there. And right now, I have not seen a a better indicator that offered more alpha for both for like trend flips on like macro bottoms, macro tops, um but that would also with zero adjustment pivot over into the traditional market sector where I like to use it. See, I pulled a chunk of my crypto money at that 64K top into traditional markets and I've been playing with it there and I've had a blast. I've loved that. Um, and so I'm actually probably gonna leave some of that there because even if I want Bitcoin exposure, there's plenty of Bitcoin backed companies that maybe are, are lagging behind Bitcoin right now. Um, so I'm like 50% exposed to Bitcoin and then another percent, you know, like 35 to 40 exposed to um, traditional markets if you go to rainbow-trends.com there's all kinds of links and then i guess one last time um, i'm gonna do my discount links and stuff in the chat uh, which is which are custom discounts that our runner set up for this stream so i don't know how long those will be live i don't know if they'll if they'll last forever or a few days or what that's completely up to him um, but he did set those up just for this stream 
And I just wanted to be sure I, I shared that with you guys if it was something you're interested in. There's a lot of custom tools out there. There's a lot of really deadly bots. There are tools better than mine, but there's bots better than mine. Actually, I don't think there's better tools, but I know I'm biased. But you won't find another theory or a trading tool set that hunts whales down. Um, they're looking at probabilities. They're looking at RSI. They're looking at all these things, EMA flips. This is flat out trying to show you where the damn whales are and what they're doing. And the whole time is like the whales are going to get 100%. I'm going to ride their coattails and get 80. Um, I'm not going to get destroyed by them. And it'll tell you in advance what's going on. So if you're into that, um, this is for you. Otherwise, yeah, go check out a bunch of the other guys. There's a bunch of other stuff out there that's that's more traditional. Um, um, frankly, I think it's it's more dangerous, but... Um, there's a lot because you can get you can get destroyed on golden crosses you can get on even destroyed on real slow things that flip but you want to learn how to chase whales this is a way to do it without spending three years like jack did um and learning how to wipe off and frankly to this day like jack pissing me off is why this came about like i cannot see Wyckoff like he can and i cannot see it like bitcoin schmitcoin can either so that's why i try to make computers do it and eventually i i I was able to. Anybody else has Twitch streams, YouTube, or anything else that wants to do demo this or have me on or anything like that, just DM me or hit up in the Discord and we can set something up as well. All right, all right. Have a good one, buddy. Um, thank you for being here. We'll have you on again for sure. And uh, yeah, we'll see you around in the Discord and stuff. Later. All right, see ya. Doesn't matter what I think. Don't trade what I think. You come up with your own system. Nothing matters other than you making a trade and, and understanding why you took it.